Hello guys, welcome back to another Wacky Wizard video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to get every ingredient on this table, the normal ingredients, plus every secret ingredient. And so I'm going to start off with the normal ingredients, and then I'll move on to the secret ingredients at the end of the video. So the first ingredient I'm going to be starting off with is the bird. And if you're wondering why my character walks so fast or something like that, the trick is, is I use speed potions to make it go by faster, so you can use a speed potion too. It's just draft hooves. The more draft hooves you put in, the faster you'll walk. That being said, let's get started with the bird ingredient. Alright, so for the bird ingredient, you're going to want to head to this tree with beehives right here. Right now, I'm not using a speed potion since there is some parkour. I suck at parkour, so I'm not going to be using speed potions. I know some of y'all may be saying, just use a fly potion. A fly potion uses a bird, and we don't have the bird ingredient yet. I'm showing y'all how to get it. So, we can't make a fly potion yet. I'm sorry. So, you will need to do some parkour. I hope it's not too difficult. Just go slow. Take your time. Don't use a speed potion for this, because speed potion makes doing parkour a lot harder. That is why I'm not using a speed potion for this one right here. So, once you get here, if you don't want to make the final jump, you don't have to. Just click the bird from right here. Teleport back to your cauldron and place the bird right on in. The next ingredient is going to be the dynamite ingredient. So you're going to want to head to the desert. We're going to go to the railroad tracks this time. Once you've made it to the railroad tracks, just click the dynamite. And then just teleport right back to your cauldron. The next ingredient is going to be the honey ingredient. So you're going to want to head to the sleeping bee, which is a secret ingredient. So take the sleeping bee, head back to your cauldron, and drop it into your cauldron, and you will need to make a potion with it. So once you've made a bee disguise potion, be sure to drink it. And now that you drink it, you're going to notice that some flowers start appearing. So there's flowers right here, here, and they weren't there a second ago. So as you notice, I fly really slow, so I'm going to recommend that you make a speed potion. I personally like to use maybe 6 to 8 draft hooves, but it's up to y'all what y'all want to use. You don't even have to use it. Okay, once you've made the speed potion, you're going to notice you're flying a lot faster now. So this should make it a lot easier. So we're going to start off with the water lily. Just touch the flower. And once you get this cool particle effect, fly to the beehive. It's right next to where we just got the bird. You're going to see a small little opening in here. Fly in. If you're not a bee, you cannot fly in here. You will be killed, so don't even try. So once you get up here, there's going to be flower icons on each of these right here. But I've already completed it, so they're all yellow for me. But if we just did the water lily flower, there's going to be an icon of a water lily flower right here. You're going to want to fly inside. Oh, this is the field daisy. So whatever, I can still see the icon. So you look for the water lily. You fly in here and it turns yellow. Then we're going to, then you fly, then you can teleport back to your cauldron. And you're going to want to go to the next flower. So for me, the field daisy is close. I'm going to touch it. I get a yellow particle effect. I'm going to want to fly all the way back to the beehive. Fly up. Touch the field daisy spot. So that should be right here. Yep, there's a field daisy behind it. And then move on to your next flower. So this one right here is the cactus flower. So we're going to need to go to the desert. Yep, you'll see some red little flowers right here. You can touch either one of them. Any is fine. Once you touched it, repeat the process. Alright, the next one is a sunflower. So, for the sunflower, we're going to need to go to Oz the Wizard. He is near the spider cave. Um, he's in the cave right behind the sleeping bee. So... Go to the cave right behind the sleeping bee. Above this house, there will be a sunflower. Just touch it and then repeat the process. And then we'll only have one more flower.
All right, so the last flower should be the lava flower. Yep. So for the lava flower, we're gonna need to fly to the very top of the volcano. Once you've flown to the very top of the volcano, look inside and it should be sitting right there. And now fly back and do the same thing. And after you do the last flower, you should receive the honey ingredient. So once you've went in here and done all, every single flower, the honey ingredient is going to appear. Just click it and teleport back to your cauldron and drop it in and you now have the honey ingredient. All right, now for the fish ingredient. So we're gonna wanna head into the water, of course, since it's a fish. Swim to the bottom left corner. There's gonna be a little hole right here. Just swim inside and then swim to the very end and you'll get the fish ingredient. Just teleport back to your cauldron and drop it right on in. All right, for the spider ingredient, before we get it, you're actually gonna wanna make a shrink potion. So to do that, just place some fairies into your cauldron. I'm gonna use two fairies, but I'm pretty sure one is fine. So once you've made a tiny potion, head towards the spider cave and you can drink it right now or later, it's any is fine. So once you've shrunk down, go to the very back of the spider cave, turn right, and there's gonna be a little hole right here with the spider web. Go inside the spider web, uh, the, the tiny hole I mean, follow the hole and you'll see the spider hiding inside of the cave. Just teleport back to your cauldron and drop it right on in. For the carmelian ingredient, you're going to want to head straight to these NPCs right over here. And we're going to go behind them. And if you look behind them, you'll notice it sitting right on this tree. Just teleport back to your cauldron and place it right on in. For the pet tags ingredient, you're going to want to go to this cool white looking structure near the spider cave. Just head right on inside. And it's gonna be a quiz, so how old are, is Jandal and however you say his name, I'm sorry. So the correct answer is 23 and 24. Walk right through it, walk right through it, sorry. Who created Wacky Wizards? It's these two, Jandal and his friend. When was Roblox created? 2004. And how many eyes does Mr. Rich have? He has one eye. How did Glinda, the Witch of Oz, reach the Oasis? She crash landed. And what was the first live event on Wacky Wizards? It was Mr. Rich, if you didn't know. So that's pretty cool. Then just collect the new, uh, collect the pet tags ingredient and teleport back to your cauldron. All right guys, the next ingredient is gonna be the beans ingredient. So you're gonna need to make an explosive potion. So take one dynamite, drop it into your cauldron and make a potion with it. Now, once we've made the potion, we're gonna wanna head all the way over here. So, it's right in between these two trees. There's gonna be a little explosive sign right here. Once you're here, drink the potion while you're standing right in between these blocks, and it should explode the blocks. Yep, so once we've done that, we're gonna need to make a giant potion, and that's just one giant's ear, so just place one giant's ear, make a giant's potion, and head all the way back. Be sure not to touch lava or you will die and pour this into the spoon. All right, and now once you've done that, all you need to do is go back to your cauldron. And now we need to make a small potion. So one fairy should work, but you can use more if you want to, but I'm gonna use one tiny potion and then head all the way back. Some people have told me that you can use a Robux potion, a Robux fly potion, which is one Robux plus one bird, and it'll let you fly. But since we haven't gotten the Robux ingredient yet, it, you can either skip ahead in the video and find out how to get that ingredient, or you can just do this, but you will have to do some parkour right now. So once you're here, use the small potion, jump onto the rift, and now just complete the parkour. I think the parkour is hard with the speed, so I wouldn't do it using the speed potion. I am right now, but I really am scared I'm gonna die, so. Normally I wouldn't, I just forgot to not use the speed potion. 
Hey, I made it. Okay, that's surprising. So, grab the beans, teleport back to your cauldron, and you now have the beans ingredient. The next ingredient is the Robux ingredient. So, you're gonna need to wait for the boss to spawn. You can check it by going over here, and it has a countdown. So, in 10 seconds, the Cyclops evasion will start. And we're gonna have to defeat Mr. Rich in order to get the Robux ingredient. All right, Mr. Rich has now spawned. So you're gonna need to make potions and then place the potions into the cannon to shoot it at Mr. Rich. Once his HP gets to zero, he will drop you the Robux item. He does shoot, um, he does shoot obstacles at you, so be sure to dodge him. If you die, nothing happens. Don't worry, you don't have to restart or anything. He'll just respawn and pick up from where you left off. So one more potion should be able to kill him. And with this final potion, I now will receive the Robux ingredient, but since I already haven't, I didn't. And that's how you receive the Robux ingredient. The next ingredient is going to be the chili ingredient. So I would recommend making a fly potion. You can use a bird and Robux or a bird and fish, a bird and whatever. But I'm going to be using Zeus's beard because I think it's easier, but you don't have to use a premium ingredient. You can use a bird and Robux, bird and fish, bird and whatever. Um, if you don't have the Robux yet and you don't want to use the fish, then just skip ahead in the video to find out how to get the Robux ingredient and then come back to get the chili ingredient. So once you've done this, head all the way back to the desert. And then we're going to go to the far cactus to the left. If you go behind it, there's a secret entrance. So just walk on this weird looking ground right here. And we found the secret entrance. And now there's a parkour here. I don't want to do parkour. So I'm going to drink my fly potion. Now I'm going to just fly across grab the chili and teleport back to my cauldron just place the chili in and you'll now have the new chili ingredient all right guys the next ingredient is going to be the boxing gloves ingredient so you're going to need to make a hot potion with one chili just place it in and once you've made the hot potion take it all the way behind these npcs there's going to be a bush back here or some grass whatever you want to call it once you're here just click it while holding the hot potion and it should start to disappear. So the next step is to teleport back to your cauldron and make a fly potion and a giant's potion. You don't need to make a fly potion, but there's some parkour and I don't wanna do it, so I'm gonna make a fly potion. It's one bird and Robux or witch's brew. There's so many things, you, ways you can make a fly potion. You don't need to use, to use Zeus's beard. I'm just doing it because I want to. Alright, so once you made a flight potion, um, now, now we're going to make a giant's potion. So that's one giant's ear. Take the giant's ear and now go back to the same spot we were just at. So once you come here, just zoom past the lava or if you're not, or if you don't have a flight potion, do the parkour. And since I've already completed this, everything here is open, but if you haven't completed this, you will need to drink the giant's potion to be able to pick up the key. If I try to pick up the key right now, you it won't let me. So I'm going to need to drink the giant's potion. Then I will pick up this key. And this door right here is going to be locked. So to, you just unlock it with the giant's key. And once you've unlocked the door, you're going to need to teleport back to your cauldron. Alright, so now we're going to need to make a U potion. So I would recommend resetting and then it's one fairy and one carmelian. And once you do that, drink the shrink ray potion, but be sure you're standing in your cauldron when you do it. Otherwise it won't work. So stand in here. And now if I look, there's gonna be an X pie ingredient right here. So I'm gonna make the potion. So now that I have my U potion, we're going to want to head to the same place we were just at. I forgot to make a fly potion this time, so I'll have to do the parkour, but next, I would recommend y'all just make a fly potion. It's up to y'all though. 
So once you've done this, talk to this NPC right here, the collector, talk to him. I've already done it, so I don't need to. Once you do that, this bridge will open up, walk across the bridge, talk to the NPC. He's going to have a lot of messages for you. I've already talked to him. There's not really any messages. And then you will have the boxing glove ingredient. And now let's move on to the next ingredient. Alrighty guys, for the gun ingredient, it actually depends on your level. So, if you look to the side, you can see I'm level 25, this guy's level 27, this guy's level 15. So, to see your level, you're going to want to click the potion book. And then click level right here. And as you can see, you get the gun at level 9. And if you're wondering, hey, how can I level up? So, to level up, every minute, if you make a potion, you gain some XP to level up. You also level up by defeating the bosses, which spawn every hour, so you just gotta actively play the game, and the more you play, the more you level up. If you find new ingredients, you also level up, so keep that in mind. So, once you hit level 9, you'll get the gun ingredient on your table. For the egg Kano ingredient, every 2 hours, you're gonna get a message asking if you would like to participate, just click yes. And you can tell when the event's about to start by heading over to the sign right over here. And as you can see, it's going to be starting in 14 seconds. So, now I'll just wait until it starts. Alright guys, the ground is rumbling, so the event is starting. I'm going to teleport back to my cauldron. And I think it's best to make a speed potion to the very start. Alright guys, it's going to start shooting beans at you, so you will need to just constantly move around and dodge the beans. And the beans can kill you if you get hit by multiple of them, but don't worry, even if you die, you don't lose or anything, you just respawn and keep on continuing with the event. So don't worry about dying, but of course just try not to die. This event is harder than the Mr. Rich event, or it does take a little bit longer in my opinion, so just keep that in mind. The reason why I said you just speed potion because it's very easy to dodge these beans if you're using a speed potion. As you can see, it's yeah pretty easy. So then the cannon's gonna turn towards the volcano. Just touch the cannon and it'll shoot you into the volcano. And you may need to sacrifice yourself a few times. All right. Once you see the eggs start to appear, be sure to jump on the eggs because the, the ground is going to turn to lava and you will die if you're not on an egg, so be sure to hop on. There's plenty of eggs, so don't worry about not finding an egg. They're everywhere. I made a speed potion so I could get to an egg fast, but it's up to you. Alright, after this, we're going to need to shoot ourselves into the volcano a few more times. So let's go ahead and do that once it's ready. And just touch the, touch the cannon, and we're going to get flung right into the volcano. Just repeat this process until it moves on to the next step. Alright, now we're going to watch KSI jump into the volcano. Those are some amazing dance moves. <laughs> and rip KSI. Alright, once KSI has died, or not, well, fallen to the volcano, you're going to want to make a speed potion so you can quickly um, put potions into the cannon. It's going to be pretty much like the Mr. Rich event. So, what's going to happen is you're going to need to put potions into the cannon to shoot at this big bean boss, this guy right here. And he's going to try to kill you while you're doing it. So it's literally the exact same thing as a Mr. Rich event right now. So the faster you can run, the faster you'll be able to put potions into your cannon. So that's why I recommend making a speed potion beforehand. And as long as you're constantly moving, he won't be able to hit you with those beans. 
But if you see um, red tiles on the ground, don't walk on them until they disappear because they will damage you. And this potion right here should be the last potion to finish him off. And after this, I should get the Egg Kano ingredient. And perfect. So now I have the Egg Kano ingredient. And just place it in your cauldron. And boom. Alright guys. For the Alien Parasite, you're going to need to go talk to Dumpster Diver Dan. Dan. Make sure you don't have a speed potion because that's going to make it a lot harder. So I wouldn't use a speed potion for this because there is going to be a parkour. Talk to him. Just be sure to click uh, OK. And he's going to give you an, a cow head. So make a potion out of that cow head. And now it's going to turn us into a cow. So now that we're a cow, we're going to be kidnapped by some aliens. So let's just wait for them to come kidnap us. Hey, there they are. So they're coming to kidnap us. We just need to walk into their beam. Let them kidnap you. Let us get teleported into the sky. All right. So now that we're here, make sure not to run into any lasers. Otherwise, you will have to restart. You'll have to get the cow disguise and everything again. So be careful not to run into any lasers. This is just some simple parkour right here. Make sure to be patient because you don't want to do it again. It's better to get it done first time than having to do it multiple times. Right here, wait for this to go all the way back. And when it starts to move, we'll go. Run, run, run. As soon as this disappears, we go. And once you've made it here, click the self-destruct button. Hold down E. Or if you're on mobile, you may just hold it down. And once this destroys, we now get the alien parasite ingredient. Alrighty guys, the next ingredient I'll be showing y'all how to get is the frog ingredient. So you're going to want to head to the goblin village. Head straight to the tents with the group of goblins. And the first goblin we're going to want to speak to is the goblin leader. So speak to the goblin leader, ask him what kind of potions he's making, and now we're going to need to make a potion for each of the goblins. So you talk to him again or talk to any of them again, it doesn't matter. Talk to them in any order, you'll need to speak to every single goblin. So this one wants spicy stew, so in order to make spicy, st spicy stew, we're going to need to use one chili. Now, talk to the goblin again. Perfect. Alright, now for the fat goblin. Let's see what he wants. He wants me in the stew. So, if he wants to eat me in the stew, I'm going to need to teleport back to my cauldron. So, I'm going to need to make a U potion, which takes one fairy and one carmelian. And once you do that, drink the shrink ray potion. Be sure you're standing over your cauldron. Once it kills you, it should put you as an ingredient. Be sure, okay, be sure to remove whatever potion was already here. And now take the U potion and bring it back to the fat goblin. Speak to the fat goblin. And perfect. Alright, now for the goblin kid. So he wants a noodle stew, so take the pool noodle, place it in the stew, and give him the noodle stew. Alright, now let's talk to the vegan goblin. He wants some beans, so we need to make a bean stew. All right, and now for the midget goblin. He wants something to make him grow, so that's gonna be a giant's ear. Perfect, once you've given every single goblin what they want, talk to the goblin leader one more time, and he will now give you the frog ingredient. 
the next ingredient is going to be the witch's brew. So you're going to start off by making a hot potion, and that's one chili. Once you've made the hot potion, bring it all the way to the witch. And she is located in this little cave behind the cactus right over here. The far cactus. So cross the railroad tracks, go into the cave. Alright, now speak to the witch. Perfect. So once you've made a hot potion, teleport back to your cauldron, and we're going to need to make a speed potion. So that's one giraffe hoof. Once you've made the speed potion, head back to the witch, and we will need to speak to her another time. So speak to her again once you have the speed potion. Perfect. So once you've done that, the witch is going to ask you to bring her a specific ingredient. She asked me to bring the cactus cat. And the cactus cat is going to be located right in the desert. So it's really close by and it's to the right of this cactus. So the cactus cat is right here. Bring her the cat. Keep in mind, you may get a different item. If you get something else, I'll show you where it's at. But I got the Cactus Cat. So once you bring it to her, she should give you one more item. So a blue frog. So if you got the blue, the blue frog, it's going to be near the water. So let's head towards the water. All right, perfect, and the blue frog is sitting right up here, so just jump on the water, and you should be able to click it. So once you have the blue frog, tell, uh, go back to her and talk to her one more time, but if you get a different ingredient like a lava flower, it will be at the, to the top of the volcano, and if you get a cave bat, it's going to be in the spider cave, which is right over there, so... The cave bat will be in the spider cave to the right side. And that should be the only ingredients she assigns you. So let's go talk to her one more time. Looks like I will need to bring her the lava flower actually. So to bring the lava flower, you teleport back to your cauldron. Now you're going to want to make some sort of potion that will help you either fly or double jump or something that will help you get up to the volcano. So I'm going to be making a double jump and bounce potion, but it's up to you what you want to make. I would recommend using the bird and the robux ingredient as that's really effective, but I don't have the robux ingredient on this account, so I sadly cannot do that. Alright, once you've made your potions, head back up to the volcano. Alright, once you get to the top, you will find the lava flower waiting for you right up here. Head back to the witch. Talk to her again. And... Perfect. Once you do that, once you give her three ingredients, she will give you the witch's brew and just teleport back to your cauldron and drop it right on in. Don't forget, if you got the, the cave spider, it will be in the spider cave on the right side right over here. Alrighty guys, the first secret ingredient I'll be showing you how to get is the void star. So you're going to want to head to Dumpster Diver Dan right over here in the corner. Look to your right once you get to him. And the Void Star should be sitting right here. Just teleport back to your cauldron or you can walk back. And then just drop it right inside your cauldron. Keep in mind that with all secret ingredients, you won't keep them at your desk when you find them. So that means you'll have to go back and get them every single time you want to use them. 
a little trick someone told me was that you could put all the secret ingredients inside the cauldron and then save them into one potion so then every time you want to use them you already have them right there in your saved potions with that being said let's move on to the next secret ingredient the next secret ingredient is going to be sketch's hair so head to the lake over here or a little river whatever you want to call it swim inside and then swim behind the, the this pink coral at the end click sketch's hair and then just teleport back to your cauldron then just simply drop it in the next secret ingredient is going to be the axolotl i think that's how you say it i'm not 100 percent sure though so swim into the water one more time but this time we're going to head to the left corner look down and then just click and just teleport back to your cauldron one more time and then just place it in the next secret ingredient is going to be jane i think that's how you say it so head to the spider cave right over here uh, once you go into the spider cave look to your right and then just click the white note on the wall just teleport back to your cauldron and place it in the next secret ingredient is going to be the sleeping bee so head over to the beehive right next to the small tree once you get over here click the small bee inside and then teleport back to your cauldron The next ingredient is going to be Forksy's head or something. It's like F-O-R-X. I don't know. I don't know how to say it. Sorry for the mispronunciation. But we're going to want to head behind the waterfall into this club. Uh, what is that? Cave club? Yep. Head into the cave club. Look to your right. And it's going to be right next to all these potions. Just grab it and teleport to your cauldron. And place it right on in. The next ingredient is going to be Jandal's head. So what you're going to want to do is head to the desert right over here, um, head to the desert, and then you're going to go, want to go to the very back of it, so across the railroad tracks, look to your left, and now grab Jandal's head, and then teleport back to your cauldron. The next ingredient is going to be Nomer's head. So we're going to want to head back to the desert, but instead of going all the way to the very back, this time we're only going to go to the first cactus right here. Then if you look on top of the cactus, you'll see a pair of glasses. Click the pair of glasses and teleport back to your cauldron. Now for the Justin ingredient. It also could be called Rocky or something, I'm not sure. but. Head to the sleeping beehive again, but this time go behind it, and we're going to be heading into this cave. So before you go inside, when you go to these bushes, just zoom in, go to the left corner, and then click the rock. And once you have the rock, teleport back to your cauldron and place it right on in. The next ingredient is going to be Cletus's hat. I believe that's how you pronounce it. So we're going to head to the same place we were just at into this cave behind the sleeping bee and this time we're actually going to go inside and we're going to want to head to this rock and then if you look behind the gravestone you'll see Cletus's hat. Delicious. Click it, be sure to teleport back to your cauldron and just place it right on in. So the next ingredient is going to be next year's head or a panda head. I think that's how you say it but go back to the same place for a third time behind the sleeping bee into the cave. This time we're going to go to the left side of the cave, so look left, go to this tree, you're going to see a tipped over cauldron right here, look inside the cauldron and you will see Nectar's head. Just click it and teleport right back to your cauldron. Now just drop it in and you should have it. The next ingredient is going to be the Caden ingredient. So we're going to head back to the waterfall, but this time we're going to swim up the waterfall. So once you swim up the waterfall, just walk straight in a straight line and you'll see the new Caden ingredient. Just teleport back to your cauldron and drop it right on in. The next ingredient is going to be the new fedora ingredient. So we're going to want to head to the goblin village. And then once you head to the goblin village, look left, 
and we're gonna head to the rock right up here and then behi uh, hiding behind the rock is gonna be the new fedora hat just click it teleport back to your cauldron and then place it right on in for the cow head ingredient you're gonna want to head back over to dumpster diver Dan talk to him you can skip through the chat or read it it's completely up to you once you finish talking to him click uh okay and you will now have the cow head ingredient just place this back in your cauldron and you can now become a cow already the next secret ingredient is going to be the mario fly fives ingredient that is a tongue twister so sorry if that was hard to understand head back to the goblin village instead of taking a left this time we're going to actually go to the right so turn towards your right look behind this rock this time and we're hiding around the corner it should be right over here just teleport back to your cauldron and just drop it right on in the next secret ingredient is going to be the KSI ingredient. For this one, I would recommend making a fly potion of any type. It doesn't matter which one. For this video, I'm going to be using uh, a bird and robux. But any fly potion is fine. It doesn't have to be this. So once you've made a fly potion, it just use a bird and some other ingredient. Then fly up to the volcano. Then go behind the volcano, and he should be hiding, yep, right behind here. Just click the case I hear, hair, teleport back to your cauldron, and drop it right on in. For the premium salad ingredient, I'd recommend making a fly potion as well. And then we're going to head back towards the volcano. But before we get to the volcano, it's actually on this tree right here, so it's not too far away. Just click it, you can walk back or teleport back to your cauldron, and then just drop it right on in. This next one is the U ingredient. So you may you may have seen potions saying that you need a U ingredient or your name ingredient. And if you're wondering what that is, it's just one fairy and then one carmelian. And then once you do that, make a potion, drink it, but be sure you're standing in your cauldron when you drink it. And it should kill you. And whenever it kills you and shrinks you into your cauldron, you should become the ingredient. If you see right here, I am now an ingredient, and if you want to get rid of the other potion, just click it, and you now have just your ingredient. That being said, let's move on to the next ingredient. After you've defeated Mr. Rich, he's going to drop a Cyclops Eye, and that's how you get the Cyclops Eye ingredient. You can just place it right into your cauldron, and you can only get it once you've defeated Mr. Rich. He spawns once every two hours. The sus ingredient. So I know I've showed this a lot before, so it's not really a secret anymore, but if for some of you that don't know, all you need to do is type sus in chat. Just type sus and knife will appear in your bat. So you can just spam it. And it's just a pretty cool little secret. If you were wondering how to get these premium ingredients for free without paying any Robux, they will cost gems, but I have a video that I will link in the pinned comment and description showing the best way to get gems for free every day and if you do this it will take maybe a couple weeks but you'll be able to save up and eventually buy these premium premium ingredients so once you have enough gems just click on shop then just click on ingredients and you'll see them right here and you can pick which one you like to purchase you can also save the gems to buy skins or NPC skins and just anything you want if this video helped you, be sure to leave a like and subscribe and comment any questions you have and I'll try my best to reply to them. That being said, hope you have a good day and peace.